about a week and a half of practice. Uh, tell me how the defense is running. Um, I think we're coming along uh, good. We just got to keep uh, working hard, try to get that what we're going for all of us every play. Um, but we're definitely coming along, uh, gelling together. I feel like we could be a dangerous group. We just got to make sure we make uh, take the steps to make sure that happens. Uh, right now we're moving in the right direction uh, for the most part. Just got to keep that going. Got a lot of experience returning. You, Quay, Sean, Ryan, Quentin. I mean, let's talk a little bit about just kind of that leadership there you guys have and yet you can bring to the rest of the defense. I mean, uh, just taking the reps and knowing what's going to happen, you can kind of try to impart that wisdom on uh, younger guys. Uh, I know when I was in the program when I was a younger guy that uh, there were guys that did that for me. Uh, so kind of just trying to pay it forward. I know the other guys, those other guys are as well, as well as uh, Marius Bergsmiller also got some reps last year, and he's doing the same thing. And the younger guys, too, uh, they're, they're going to be good players for us. Uh, hard workers, uh, especially, uh, I don't know, just they're going to be good players, definitely. Any of the, of the new guys kind of uh, standing out and really working hard so far in your mind? The position that I, that I enjoy watching really right now, uh, that's the younger kid, is Zach Cable. He's definitely working hard. Uh, Roberto's learned a lot from uh, for not having played the sport ever, or played the position ever. Just started playing the sport in spring, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, there's a lot of guys that are doing a lot of good work. Twenty Lupe Amanu, he, uh, he got some time last year too. He, uh, yeah, he's doing well. Just a lot of those guys are doing well. So, uh, tell me a little bit more about Roberto with that that head in the defensive line. I know, I know he's kind of unrefined, doesn't know a lot about it, but. Uh... Yeah. What is it like having a guy that's that big on the D line? Oh, it's uh, it's gonna be nice, uh, definitely when he uh, starts learning, because uh, you can see that he's got the, the physicality to play the position. It's just just uh, just learning uh, what to do and the, the fundamentals, the uh, kind of things that sometimes you might take for granted. Uh, you just since he's such kind of a, a blank canvas in the sport, so to speak, uh, he uh, he'll get right. It's just as far as the amount of time it might take. Uh, um, personally, just. Uh, guys that I've heard of, like uh, Ezekiel Ansa at BYU and stuff like that, those guys that I heard, like, he put on his pads backwards the first day and stuff like that. So, I know uh, Roberto's uh, doing really well for only having played the position for now, I think, seven days, eight days. So, uh, I think once he gets some time uh, learning everything, I think he'll be a good player. And, uh, having Quayshon coming back for that unexpected extra year of eligibility uh, must be a nice surprise for you guys. Uh, definitely. He's, uh, he's a great player, has a high motor, uh, takes up some double teams, and definitely makes some plays in the backfield for us, so it's going to be good. Uh, take a, it'll take a lot of heat off of the rest of us. So.